It's July 5th and we're leaving our Airbnb in Escalador and going to Studigil Canyon, which is about an hour and a half. So it's a typical Iceland day. It's about, I don't know, 40 degrees, overcast, a little bit chilly, which I think is my, my perfect like weather. I love it. We've been staying on this farm and it has horses and a very nice caretaker or owner who let us in and let us know a little bit about the history. But you can see the horses over here that we are sleeping next to. Look at the horses checking us out. And then we have the Airbnb over here. A nice little Airbnb. And now we're gonna head out. We arrived at Studigil Canyon and uh, it's interesting, it's the first place we went to that you had to use a credit card to go to the bathroom. Heading down to the canyon, looks like to get to that famous picture you have to take that trail on the other side but because it's like freezing cold today, we're not going to take that other trail on the other side. Staying warm? Yeah, we ended up renting these jackets because we knew at some point on the trip it would be uh, it would be very cold. And today is the is the coldest day. Yeah, we're a week in. We haven't worn them yet. But... Feels like it's about 40 degrees, maybe. Yeah, maybe so. With the wind, very, very, very cold. There's only a few other people here. We're gonna see if we're gonna be able to fly the drone here. Well. We figured out from talking to another person that to get to the Instagram spot, we had to go on this exit, not drive farther down to the main campsite. So, plus, so.
so we're here at Sturval Canyon in Iceland and we had to take a little side road that put us on a footpath because the main visitor area um, doesn't get you on this side of the canyon and if you could see across over here that up there is where we started at but you can't get across to get to the spot that I'm standing on that puts you in the most scenic part of the canyon and then uh, I'm not sure if you can see but kind of uh, behind me down below is the uh, red mineral I think it's iron deposits that make it look pretty cool so we're gonna hang out here and uh, do some photography and we talked to a um, we talked to a guy that flew a drone and he said when he brought his drone down into this little gully here it lost its GPS signal which is where it gets its coordinates of where it is in relation to the person with the controller and he said it just literally slammed against the wall and just he lost it and he didn't download all his photos so it's uh, definitely a good lesson I think uh, the lesson to be learned is is that at the end of every day you always want to download your photos and your videos so you have a on a hard drive and then you have a new day worth worth of videos so he also said he saw another drone in the water here so I think there's been many people that lost drones here just a spectacular location totally spectacular hey there's Andrea she's up there how you doing and here's Andrea she didn't come down here Hey, she's at. That's where she's at. How's it going up there? Where are we at? Stutigal. I can't. Stutigal Canyon. Stutigal? Is that really it? I think that's what it is. We got the name messed up. So <laughs> we're at the famous Instagram spot. And I, I went down a little bit lower to get a picture of that, that spot that has all the uh, brown cascading water going over it. So got some good pano pictures, but uh, it was definitely worth the hike. It was probably about a mile in. Yeah, from a little over a mile. We thought it was gonna be longer. We thought it was gonna be like over six miles because there's one parking spot and then you can go further on a sort of gravelly road. A yeah, so we came to the closer one and hiked in and it was a flat, just a flat graded road and um, beautiful spot for some pictures. And people droning. And now there's a whole bunch of people coming. We had it pretty much to ourselves. There weren't, there weren't that many people here, but now there's a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of bugs, but what's good about these bugs, they're not the biting bugs. <laughs> So if we heard they can bite inside your ears. That's true. <laughs> and some people they can fly right through the other side. <laughs>
Tridular? All right. <laughs> so we so we left the town of what was that town that we left? Oh man. Big Gilsador. Big Gilsador? Yeah. <laughs> so we're heading around the north side now. So this is a church that was 1949. And they said this is the this location is what? It's like the highest, highest settlement. So the highest place that people lived and had, I guess, a homestead. You could see like the old buildings with the grass on top and the volcano in the distance. Um, there's a little church here, tiny little cafe. Actually, not so tiny, but they just had a few things to eat, some soup and some Oh yeah, I had, I had a I had a great <laughs> cheese and ha ham and cheese sandwich Was fried. And then I had like a little fried donut. Fried donut. <laughs> the fried donut was so good, I had a craving for that. And then I had bread with butter <laughs> and salt on it. It was and incredible. I had some vegetable soup because the <clears throat> lamb soup had um, fried. So this must be the original house, huh? This must be the original place that uh, Let's go see something here. It was like a little sled. A little bob sled. Huh. Interesting. Wonder if anybody lives in the house. <clears throat> Look at that boulders at the base of it. Air conditioning. Nomaville geothermal area getting totally gassed out. <laughs> Sulfur. What's that little one over there? I don't know, we'll go find that one. Okay. <laughs> it was very gassy over there. Leaving, what is it? Glistador. Eglistador? Yeah, we're, we're leaving Eglistador and going to Studigil Canyon. That's about an hour, hour and a half away. So, um, typical day, it's uh, overcast sky, cold. It's, it's uh, 18 degrees Celsius. That's what this car says. So, I don't know, what is that? 40 maybe degrees? I think Something it's like more that. Than 40. So, it was a nice little Airbnb. And uh, stayed on a farm with these gonna, horses. Yeah, yeah. There's some horses over there. See you later, horses. They're very interested in seeing all the people that stay in this Airbnb. <coughs> One sniffing a butt. It's itching. Itching it. For somebody else? <laughs> That's a pardon my girlfriend, she doesn't know what to say on camera.